subject maths chapter number 5 arithmetic progression in previous lecture we study about what is arithmetic progression what is series and find the n term of ap so continue this exercise 4.1 Question number four of exercise four point one. Five point one. Question number five. First, first one is three. Three plus under root two. Third one. Three plus two. Under root two. Next term three plus three under root two. So instruction of question four is first we check given series is AP or not. Our answer is yes. Then find first term common difference and next three term. Here given already first, second, third, and fourth term. So next three term means fifth, sixth, and seventh term. So let's first we check given series is AP or not. Therefore, we check AP or not. We have to find common difference between two consecutive term. First. First term, second term, third term, and fourth term. Let's check common difference. A two minus A one. Therefore, value of A two is three under three minus A one minus three plus three cancel. Answer is under root two. Common difference of a two minus a one is under root. Now check common difference between third term and second term. D is equal to three plus two under root two minus three plus under root two. Next bracket open. Therefore minus sign and then this term minus plus minus minus. Under root two. Here bracket is open. Therefore minus sign included all terms. Minus three under root two converted into minus two. Plus three minus three cancel. Two under root two minus under root two. Therefore here two under root two and one under root two plus minus minus. Answer is under root two. Here common difference between A two minus A one and A three minus A two. Here is now is A three minus A two number term. Therefore, both common difference will be same. Therefore, it is a A P with first term three and common difference is under root two. Let's find next three term of given A P. Therefore, a five, a six, and a seven. A five means a four plus d. A six means a five plus d, and a seven means a six plus d. A four term means three plus three under root two plus d. Value of d is under root two. Therefore, three plus three under root two plus under root two. Answer is three plus one four under root two. Therefore, three plus four under root two is a fifth term of given a b. Next, a six means six number of term means. Fifth term plus d. Fifth term means 
थ्री प्लस फोर अंडर रूट टू प्लस डी मीन्स अंडर रूट टू देर फोर थ्री प्लस फाइव अंडर रूट टू इज अ सिक्स टर्म ऑफ ए बी ए सेवन मीन्स ए सिक्स प्लस कॉमन डिफरेंस देर फोर थ्री प्लस सिक्स अंडर रूट Here a5, a6, and a7 term of given a b. Next example. Example number six. So question number six of question four. Zero point two, zero point double two. Zero point triple two, zero point two two. Now, first we check given term is A B or not. So let's find common difference. Common difference between second term and first term. Here, value of second term is zero point twenty two, and value of first term means zero point two. 0.22 minus 0.2. Therefore, answer is 0.02. Value of D. Next, also find the fourth, third term and second term. Third term is 0.0, 0.222 minus 0.22. Therefore, answer is 0.002. Here C value of D of A two minus A one and value of D for A three minus A two both answers are different. Therefore, A two minus A one is not equal to A three minus A two. Both consecutive common difference term is not equal. Therefore, it is not represented A B. So the reason is here. It is not a A B. Next question. Given sequence is under root two, under root eight, under root eighteen, and under root thirty-two. So first we find common difference between two terms. Therefore, d of a two minus a one. Second term under root eight minus under root two. We can write under root eight as a four multiplied by two. Four into root eight under root two. Now under root four. Value of under root four is. Two, therefore under root four, answer is two. Now two, therefore under root two minus under root. Let's again understand. Eight we can write as four into two. Now value of under root four is two, and under root two is under root. Therefore, two under root two minus under root two. Answer is under root two. Common difference between second term and first term. Answer is under root two. Let's check. A three minus A two. Third term minus second term. Third term is eighteen minus under root eight. Here same. Under root eight, we can write four into two. It's similar to eighteen. We can write nine into two minus under root eight. We also write four multiplied by two. Now, under root nine, value of under root nine is three, and two as under root two minus four. Two under two value of under two is this. 
Therefore, 3 under root 2 minus 2 under root 2. Answer is under root 2. So, see here e2 minus a1 and e3 minus a2 both are equal answer. Therefore, a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2. Therefore, it is an example of AP because reason is 2 consecutive term difference is equal a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2. Let's find next three term of given AP. It means a5, a6 and a7. A5 means a4 term plus d. A4 term, 4 term of AP is under root 32 plus common difference d. Answer. We can also simplify under root 32 as a 16 into 2 plus under root 2. 16 means 4 under root 2 plus under root 2. Therefore, answer is 5 under root 2. In similar way, for 6 number of term, 6 term of AB, value of 3 term is 5 under root 2. Here, value of 3 term is 5 under root 2. Therefore, 3 term is 5 plus common difference under root 2. Answer is 5 plus 1 under root, therefore 6 under root 2. Now, 7 term means 6 term plus D, therefore 6 under root 2 plus common difference. Value of common difference is under root 2, therefore answer is 7 under root 2. Now, last question of question 4 and also exercise 5.1. Here, given term is a square, 5 square, 7 square, and 73. So, according to instruction, first we check given term, given question is AP or not. In similar way, First find common difference between second term minus first term. Second term means 5 square minus 1 square. 5 square answer is 25 minus 1 square 1. 24. Therefore, common difference between second term minus first term is 24. Let's check common difference between third term minus second term. Third term means 7 square minus 5 square. Therefore, value of 7 square 49 minus 25. Answer is 24. So here, common difference between two term is equal therefore it is a AB. Let's find next three term of given AB. Therefore, A5, A6, and A7 means fifth term, sixth term, and seventh term of AB. Fifth term means fourth term plus D. Sixth term means fifth term plus D and 6 term plus b. Value of 4 term is 73. Therefore, 73 plus 24. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 2, 9. 97 is a fifth term of a b. Now find Sixth term means fifth term plus twenty-four. Therefore, 
सेवन प्लस फोर इलेवन वन रिमाइंडर नाइन प्लस टू इलेवन प्लस वन रिमाइंडर ट्वेल्व नाउ फाइन सेवन टर्म ऑफ ए बी सेवन टर्म मीन्स सिक्स टर्म प्लस डी फोर प्लस वन फाइव टू प्लस टू फोर वन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन सेवन टर्म ऑफ गिवन ए बी नाउ सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट टू एक्सरसाइज 5.2 पॉइंट टू फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन वन Question one, first question. Here, given some value and missing term is five. So, question one, we have to given value of a is equal to seven. Value of b is equal to three. Value of n is equal to eight. So, find a. Question number one. Value of a is equal to three. D is equal to three. A is equal to seven. N is equal to eight. And then find a n. So which equation use to find a? Which equation use? We have to use equation for find n term. And this equation discuss in last lecture. So using this equation, a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Here a n means nth term of a b. A means first term. N means number of term. And d means common difference. A n means n term of A b. So start solve this question. Value of A n find value of A is equal to seven. N means eight minus one into A n means eight. Number of term. We have to find eight term of A B. Here seven. Eight minus one seven into three. Seven plus seven into three. Twenty one. Twenty one plus seven answer is twenty eight. Therefore our eight term of A B is twenty eight. Next, second question. Second question we have to find a is equal to minus a b. D common difference d. We have to find common difference d. N is equal to ten and a n is equal to zero. Common difference find n. N is equal to ten. And a n is equal to zero. We can also use this equation. A is equal to a plus 
n minus 1 into d. Value of a is equal to 0. Value of a means minus 80 plus n. n means value of n is 10 minus 1. And value of d means fine. Next, minus 80 side chain, therefore sign will be changed. Minus 80 converted into plus 80 is equal to 10 minus 1 means 9 into d. Take subject of d and 9 converted into division, multiplication relation converted into division, therefore d is equal to 18 divided by 9 therefore answer is 2 value of d is equal to 2 in similar way next remains question of question 1 is homework let's solve question number 2 of exercise 5.2 Next, question number 2, 30 ton of AB, 10, 7 and 4, we have to find 30 ton of AB, first given AB is 10, 7 and 4. Four. So first, value of A is equal to 10. Now find value of D. Value of D means A2 minus A1. Therefore, 7 minus 10. Answer is minus 3. Value of D is equal to minus 3. Next, equation is AL is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Here we have to find 30 term of AB. It means N is equal to take 30. And what is 30 term of AB? It means find A 30. Therefore, N is equal to 30 value of a is equal to 10 n means 30 minus 1 and value of d is equal to minus 3 10 plus 30 minus 1 means 29 into minus 3 now multiply 29 minus 3 9 into 3 9 into 3, 27. 3 into 2, 6 plus 2, 8. Answer minus 87. Therefore, plus minus minus 10 minus 87. Answer is minus 77. Therefore, 30 term of AP is minus 77. Next, question number 2, similar as question number 1, 11th, we have to find 11th term of given AP and AP is minus 3, minus 1 half, 2, similar to question 1, solve in homework. Next, Question number 3 Now, question number 3 Given sequence 2 blank and 26 We have to find blank It means second term of AB 
so try to solve this question here 2 is given in first term 26 means third term so first term means a is equal to 2 and second term second term is equal to first term plus d in similar way third term third term means second term plus d we have to give a third term we have to find second term so value of third term is 26 and value of second term find value of d as it is now second term means a plus d second term therefore a2 is equal to a first term plus d second term find next value of a is equal to 2 therefore 2 plus d you have to equation 2 and equation 1 a2 plus d is equal to 20 and a2 plus d a2 plus d is equal to 26 first equation and second equation a2 minus d is equal to 2 so d cancel and we have to give a term so continue in next lecture we will stop this lecture thank you